Somebody touch this man, if somebody touch this, who touch this? So our agenda for today is we are going to okay I'm going to God is good I need to pick up a package I ordered a while ago I, I hope it's there they sent me a message but it's not a complete message so I'm hoping it's there then we are going to everyday supermarket they have a thrift store in the supermarket so I want to look for let's call it thrift store like a clearance clearance it's still thrift sure well whatever clearance sale uh, store so they bring in stuff from america all those things on clearance from ross and you know uh, target and places like that they now bring it here and sell so i want to check for swimwear for core yeah for core if i see for eva i'll buy if i see like a matching swimwear i'll buy yeah i want to buy boots for cora for farming but i don't think they will have it there but the shop I want to go to, you will not have time to. to, to okay, yeah. Yeah, because sure. we need to return back to work. So, we'll just go to the thrift store, check for stuff, and then we are right, and then we'll come right back, okay? So, the problem now is that JRA is blocked in so many places. I don't even know how I'm going to get there. I think I'll go and pass through Stadium Road, go and pass. Okay, is it map you checked? Someone that passed there said that a lot of places there are blocked like you have to pass several places like several places are blocked so that if you want to go to that name you need to go and pass like a very far place so that's what i have to do now <sighs> every time they are building roads in port harcourt i'm not against building the roads because to be honest after the roads are done eh, the difference is so clear you know everything feels very mm -hmm. You know whatever but, but building at the same time uh -huh. without alternative the inconvenience is not funny at all yeah
Cora, what are you doing? Eh, uh, look now, look. You're not looking now. You're saying you're just trying to. If I'm looking, I'm just trying to look for any swimming. Richie, <laughs> 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 but I don't have. Let me look for, okay? Um, let me for. look, let me look, let me look. So can I yes, just... Yes, you can look. Let me just use my hands to look. Hey, 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 this one is not my size. <laughs> this one is not my size. It's too big. Okay, yeah. What is this one? Oh, this is too big. Too too. Too too. Huh? Well, I just. Eva, listen, your own. Eva, you have that type already. That type of body. Yes, you have that type already. See the one I bought for you. If I see the one I bought for you, yeah. Let me take this. Okay. You so... can I wear this one? Do you mean it's so old, man? It's so old, man. I am in the Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Bring us on, let's see. What is this? Oh, if I have to give you me, Mikita. Eh? I said look for swimwear. Fast, fast. Let's see that one. Anyone that you think is pretty, let's see. Okay. Okay, this one is tough for pants. Is it her size? Uh, keep it aside first now. Keep it aside. Let's see if we'll see. Top. Change is this one pretty now? Is this one pretty from my bread? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This one moves. I have my breast. Look at the house. Breast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look for the one that does not have breast now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's this one. Ah, yeah, fine. Okay. <gasps> and bring it out, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eva, what's that? Elsa dress, a tutu Elsa dress. I think it's a swimwear. Wait, it's a swimwear. Swimwear. Eh? Eva, you want to have two? You already have one. Well, so which one do you want? This one or this one? Which one? It's the same thing now. Wait, Cora, please put the one I, I chose back into the nylon, into the bag, okay? I want that to put it back into the bag. Thank you. Into the. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Just give her, give her, give her. Let me not look for anybody. Oh. I shall will not even see Christmas thing, Seth. I said, Do you have money? How much do you have? 36 what? 36 naira. Eh, uh -huh. that's how you say money. You have to add either naira or or what? No, I don't know. Or dollars. I don't want to so can we go and buy? No, because you don't have money. This one. You want what? This one. So well, we have to be sure it's your size first. Yeah, but but this is not fan kitchen. boots now. Fan boots is no longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish I can have fan hmm? boots. This is not fan boots. This is like snow boots. Snow boots. Mm -hmm. for, for Christmas. We don't have snow in Nigeria. Do you have snow in Nigeria? Eva, Eva, do we have snow in Nigeria? No. Mm -hmm, we don't have snow in Nigeria. Look at what I have. Boats? No. Boats? No. Boats. Boats. Yes. And this is Jewish. Hmm? This is Jewish. Yes, they are shoes. Mommy, I have a little 
little babies here. Cora, stop it. He has a pretend baby. It's too heavy. It's too heavy? Yeah. But you have to keep them back where you got them from. Okay. Is that where you got that one from? That's not where you got that one from. That one. It's from the other side. Good job. Push, push, you can push it. Push. Mm hmm Good job. Them. It's not your boots. No, it's not my boots. It's like my boots. No, it's not your boots either. Put it back. No. Put it back. I know you like it, but it's not your size. <laughs> Eva, put it back. And it's dirty. Ew. Put it back. actually or used to be my office but i'm going to be moving out of this room to the um to the boys quarters one of the rooms at the boys quarters i'm going to turn that place to my office and i'm going to turn here into my nursery slash omugwa room okay yeah so um i need to get rid of some things see this flower this flower is dead this flower needs to just just go just just go okay so when i eventually you know get my office set i'm going to remove all this from the wall and just put proper baby the de baby room decoration and this chair i need to get rid of this chair either i repair it like try and get this stuff back up and everything i repair it or i get another rocking chair because the chair is good but the cushion is too light it's too it's not thick enough yeah the cushion is not comfortable enough and this is all these things are still those are my wigs and these are just some random stuff those are my books in there so i'm going to have to get rid of a lot of things here so that i can store some baby stuff here even these drawers i'm going to clear them although these are actually my baby my children's stuff they are hair things so this one might just be here but the other drawers i'll clear them so that when my mom comes she can you know i've already cleared here partially I just need to get rid of some of these things so that my mom can keep her things there and we're going to have to clean this bed and use it this is my bowl <laughs> so big bowl yeah yeah so actually i have a lot to do before the baby comes but somehow i think i'm mentally i've been seeing a lot of them actually but i'm mentally delaying some things because if I, you know, use all my energy now and do everything at once, I'm going to just be looking and waiting for the baby to come. I feel like it will make the time even longer for me. So that is why I'm not really in a hurry to do some things now. I moved into this house, we just put our bed and curtains and that was it. So we need to actually decorate our room and, you know, put a new bed. We're just getting things ready for the new baby. And yeah, so this bed as well, I'm going to clean it and put the... My husband will have to raise the spring because where it is now, it's actually at the level for, you know, bigger children. So when you have an infant, you raise it up to, I think it has the knobs here. So somewhere here, you raise up the spring to here to get the bed higher. I mean, infants can't move, so they can't climb out. But by the time you have toddlers, you have to start, you know, lowering the spring so that they can't easily come out of the bed but if you guys can remember eva was coming out of this bed like she, <laughs> the girl was a ninja okay so that's what i've been up to lately that reminds me you guys my farm is coming together we've gotten the soil and the um we've basically gotten the soil 
we've put manure, we've put compost and um, some other things and then we're just waiting for the soil to like I'm preparing the soil so in two weeks time the lady I told you about that is going to help me with my farm she's going to come and you know plant the seedlings I got a lot of seedlings from her I'm basically getting things that we use in this house okay I don't want to just start planting all those orishi orishi that I see <laughs> I want to get the basics all the vegetables that we use um, and some herbs as well and yeah i'm so excited you guys have you guys seen a pregnant woman who has started who who decided to start a farm while pregnant like i didn't start it all this while that i have been you know jumping up and down with myself alone now that i have a baby i now feel the need to actually start a farm um but like what the woman was telling me it's not going to be hectic for me once you know everything has been planted all i'm just going to be doing is to weed it and check it and water some and all that so it's not going to be difficult for me it's actually going to be therapeutic for me as a pregnant woman so that's why i really need to get it started before the baby comes and then after the baby comes then yeah we'll continue with it so quickly let me just show you guys what my farm is looking like right now i'm so i feel so i feel like one <laughs> i feel like one uh, wife material like that like a serious wife material that has a farm and all that good stuff okay <laughs> so let me just carry you guys to my farm this is what it's looking like right now yeah so this place i'm going to get someone to like a bricklayer to complete this structure that's completed with you know blocks raise it higher and then that's where i'm going to be making my compost so we'll just cover it with a black um you know tapolino what they call it whatever black nylon okay black thick nylon we're going to cover it our black plastic we're going to cover it and be making compost there so compost is basically you know grass um leaves and stuff like that and then some of your kitchen waste so things like eggshells um peels fruit peels banana peels but basically peels veggies all those kitchen like when you peel potato plantain all those things you don't carry them and put it there then um sawdust and some other things basically you just pile them there you know turn them cover it and they're going to make compost which is basically food for your soil okay organic food for your soil so that's what this place is going to be for um but yeah those places that we have the blocks is where we have our um septic tank head so that whenever the septic tank is full they can open it up from there and drain it that's why i did not want them to touch that place at all um even my husband reminded me several times that they should not they should not cover his septic tank head you know but yeah so you can see the soil now all these things are manure um this was done like over a week ago so if you can see closely we still have weed already growing there um this was done over a week ago so um in two weeks time or in a week plus she's going to come back and start planting okay yes so cora i didn't tell you but i'm going to tell you now that this part is your farm this place yes is farm. this place this whole place is going to be your farm yeah! your little garden yeah the little garden we're going to plant things there yes and we will plant a flower yes we'll plant flowers we'll plant beans we'll plant vegetables everything you like okay yes i will plant everything i want to plant yeah so yeah that's it for my farm this is my aloe vera i am going to transplant some of them it was actually just one plant that is you know bringing out a lot of offspring so i'm going to transplant all the offsprings here so that we'll have like a little aloe vera farm here and yeah that's basically what i'm going to be doing in the next few weeks i'm really 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 excited about it okay she, yeah she lost a tooth last night and the second one there will soon come out as well so yes and he's just wiggling this place yes. he's just falling this place yeah it's falling but it will come out okay Yes, it will soon fall out. Yeah, I hope you're not worried. I'm not worried. Okay, yeah. So yesterday she kept telling me that I should, I should go and put her tooth so that the tooth fairy will, will give her money. And I told her, the tooth fairy does not... 
exist. Exist. Yes. Exist. <laughs> I know I'm the most wicked mother on earth. Now all of us are be. All I know is that I will tell my children the truth. Okay, I'm not going to allow them believe in any fantasy whatsoever. Whatsoever. Okay. So yeah, she knows that the truth fairy does not ex does not exist. But when that comes, that is going to give you a gift because it shows that you are now a big girl. Yes. Meanwhile, that's the standing bath there. We need to wash it and take it upstairs. Yeah. And um Mom, we can have water. You want to drink water? Mm -hmm. uh, go and drink now. With my falling <laughs> I didn't want to say it's in her presence, but is it not too early for her teeth to be falling? She's not up to five yet, she's just four years plus. Although I read online that yeah, it's not common, but some kids lose their teeth early. I'm just like, okay. I never knew that Cora was going to lose teeth early. Um, because she's sucking her teeth. Okay, yeah, so because she's sucking, her teeth needs, um, I don't know, I feel like her teeth is changing shape, so she might need braces in the future. Um, I tried to stop her from sucking, but that one, that she pursued, it did not work. Yeah, so she might need braces in the future, so the teeth falling early is actually a good thing for me, because the earlier the, the milk teeth fall and the, you know, adult teeth start growing, the better for me, so that who can start with the braces and everything and everything that is going to be involved yeah okay so yeah that's the updates for now uh, more baby things are coming more farm stuff you know are coming like i bought some items for these kids i bought them gloves and shovels and i'm going to buy boots for them so that they can also farm while i'm also farming and yeah i'm going to show you guys more of the baby things i'm going to also do like a nursery I didn't say nursery review, not really, but I'll show you guys when I'm setting up the nursery, okay? And everything that is going to follow in the following weeks, I'm going to show you guys. And yeah, so stay tuned because more interesting topics and more interesting vlogs are coming your way this next few weeks, okay? Yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Tell them bye guys. Bye. Bye. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Love you.